Welcome to the DIY and Decor Challenge 2020. This month we are doing the Organizational DIY and Decor Challenge and this is hosted by Christina from the DIY Mommy. She does a lot of DIYs, crocheting, home decor, crafts. She's a mom of three beautiful girls. She's also married and live in Alberta, Canada. I would love for you to visit her channel. She is absolutely incredible, very talented at what she does. She does offer a lot of amazing tips as well. So be sure to check out her channel. Um, her link will be down in the description box below. Also, there will be a playlist of all the awesome and wonderful women that is going to be taking part in this DIY and decor challenge. Be sure to check the description box and be sure to go and visit all of those channels all those wonderful ladies and show them some love and you know watch their videos subscribe to their channels and make sure you let them know that I sent you over um, Christina thank you so much this is always so much fun to take part in you are absolutely amazing and I am super duper grateful and appreciative of what you do here on YouTube So today I am going to show you guys how I organize my 1920s kitchen pantry. Um, my kitchen is kind of still in the process of being um, renovated. Well, not really renovated, but decorated. Um, I kind of just slapped some paint on the front of my cabinets and I am definitely planning in, on planning on giving it another overhaul this year. So inside my cabinets, as you can see, it is yellow and it was the original color from the when the house was built. And these are metal cabinets, so there was no way that I I could um, get into them and take them out but I absolutely love them they are amazing but inside my cabinets as you can see it's crazy it's chaotic it's just it has no organization and it's driving me insane so this was a perfect opportunity for me to get into my pantry and my cabinets and clean them out and kind of organize them and throw out expired foods and oh y'all know how it is mamas y'all you guys know how it is when you have kids <laughs> and they just go through it like they it's a storm so i am super excited so please stay tuned for this video i will not be talking through the video but i will pop back in at the end of the video thank you so much for watching
feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine And I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed Such a stream of gold above Breaking through with hope of light and love Giving peace of mind to those of us who try So this is the end result. Um, my cabinets are going to get a complete makeover on the inside this year. But that is an empty cabinet i gotta get that over there but this is my husband's um shelf this is where he puts all his vitamins and his organics and stuff he's out so he's actually going to be picking up some um and then this is my cabinet where i put all my tea towels 
So I have them categorized for Christmas, fall and Thanksgiving, spring and summer, and then my everyday um, tea towels. There's a lot right now that's in wash, so um, they're going to be coming back. And in this drawer, I just put like my um, my baggies, my matchsticks, and my lighter. Um, I don't use um, foil paper because of the aluminum, but um, you know this is where I will be putting all these items. As you see, I don't use a lot of them, um, but I do have the sandwich bags for my daughter because she normally takes snacks to school. Um, and sometimes when we go out to church, they put their snacks in these little baggies because it's an hour ride to church and back home. So I have those there and it's easily accessible um, to them as well. I'm not worried about the lighter or the match sticks because my kids don't play with that stuff. They're older, so they don't really play with that stuff. This is just all empty boxes to go into the recycling. And I organize my spice and medicine cabinets. So up there I have all of the medicine and I put them at the very top so that they can stay out of reach um, of my kiddos. Again, they are older. They normally don't mess with these things, but I just like to make sure that they are out of reach. Um, but if we needed to get it, that we would be able to, it's easily accessible. So I do have my son's EpiPen right at the very front, just in case um, he has an allergic reaction, I can go and grab that easily and administer it to him. Here on the second cabinet, I have all my larger items, my vinegar, my sauces, my um, coconut oils and things like that. It's easily accessible and it's right over my stove so I can just get them. And then my spice cabinet. I don't use a lot of spices. I normally stick to my natural um, organic spices. I am out of a few, um, turmeric, garlic, onion, all that stuff. But um, this is what my spice cabinet is looking like right now. And I have all my Caribbean spices. And then I have my cinnamon and my nutmeg and my cloves and my cayenne pepper, paprika, and then I have my salt. Um, on the bottom of that cabinet. So I'm thinking that that is looking really, really fabulous. And then here goes my pantry. We don't use a lot of canned goods. Um, I just use a selected few. And this is what it's looking like. I think it looks so much better. It's so much more organized. So I have all my canned goods there. And then I have some snacks that's um, in packaging. And then I have other snacks that's out of packaging. So let me go closer. So I have cookies here. And then I have some breakfast biscuits. And then in the back, I do have um, some pretzels. My kids love pretzels. Raisins, Nutella. And then I have their um, Rice Krispie Treats back there. Peanut butter. Um, I, I like to keep the snacks on these two shelves. I do have chippy uh, bags, chips bags on the bottom um, because we tend to go to chips all the time when we're doing like family movie nights or game nights. Um, but these are easily accessible to my kids as well. And then on this level, I have my taller bottled items. So I have cereal um, in these two canisters. And then in this canister, I have my pancake mix. I have my kidney beans back there. This is my um, basmati rice. And then back there I have some yellow rice. And then these two are my pasta, uh, you know, canisters. Then down here I just have uh, potato chips and granola bars, my bread. And then my kids do like some fruit snacks. So we do have those there as well for them. And then down here, I just have like my sweet potatoes, my red potatoes, and my son absolutely loves these munchies, um, munchin <laughs> soups. So we have that down there for him so that he can actually see that it's there. Yeah guys, so that is my 
pantry organization. Um, it's probably not the most beautiful, but it is the most functional for our family. And I normally, I cook a lot. I cook from home. Um, so we don't have a lot of snack snacks. Um, most of my snacks I do make, um, but they do have um, a few of their staples that is in there. And normally I go grocery shopping. I try to go grocery shopping twice a month now. Um, and so I wait until everything is completely out and then I stock up. I don't go to the grocery store and buy more chips on top of chips. I let them eat what's there and then I go and I stock up because it's a total waste to have to go to the grocery store buying potato chips, buying snacks, and they have snacks here already. i rather for them to just empty out the pantry and then mama will go shopping and grab some more. So thank you guys so much for watching. Christina, thank you, thank you, thank you so much again for having us to participate in this awesome challenge. It is always so much fun. Be sure to check the description box down below and visit Christina, Christina's channel and all the playlists, all the ladies that's going to be taking part in this challenge as well. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. And if you are coming over from all the other channels, thank you so much and welcome. Be sure to hit that bell for new notifications and also I would love for you to share my channel with your social media networks and don't forget that Jesus is Lord he loves you and I love you too thank you for watching and I'll see you next time